Hi, my name is Eve, and I'm here to tell you the story of two friends who met in school in a little German town close to the French border in 1984. They shared a passion for the new wave of music coming out of England at that time. They signed their first record deal in 1992, and after two albums under the name Planet Claire and Pop Productions, and songwriting for many pop stars in Europe, they came back to their roots at the beginning of 2000. This is the story of two guys, how they made up their minds, started again, and created their own little sound universe. Book of Shade was born. They remembered the feeling when they first were infected with the techno virus in Frankfurt at the beginning of the 90s. And together with Mandy, DJ T and Peter Hayo founded the extremely successful record label Get Physical Music. They finally found their own musical identity. They produced four albums, travelled the world, played the biggest festivals around the globe. We're going to stay in Germany and play you uh, new music from one of my favourite electronic groups. Book of Shade are back. They are Walter and Arno. They've had four albums out and they are called Book of Shade. Book of Shade! After these exciting times, this is also the story of how they lost their vision and how they almost split up and found themselves together again. Since the release of Memento in 2004, we've basically been in a cycle of non-stop touring. And actually the shows continued throughout the album production. Let's go! Musically, we were looking for ways to tell the Bukeshade story in a new way that felt exciting for us. turned out not to be that easy. We didn't find the right approach to make it really interesting for us. So we figured that in order to create something exciting, you have to be somewhere exciting. Perhaps the Caribbean? Or the south of France? Or Manchester? We found this residential studio in a small, rainy town just outside of Manchester called Eve. What made it particularly exciting for us was rooms full of the weirdest electronic and acoustic stuff. Cool. There it is. <laughs> Strange gadgets from Asia, analog reverb plates. The perfect place to achieve even more depth in the sound for our new album. So the idea of using a lot of hardware synths and sending every signal we had through some warm analog outboard was very attractive. We locked ourselves away for some time with the demos we had and just recorded. Full acoustic drum kits. Okay, let's go. Sometimes only hi-hats to make a loop more lively, or a snare drum overdub. Second part had a terrible timing, so either we do some magic or I play it again. We even recorded our own disco claps. We also played recorded instruments through loudspeakers placed somewhere in the different rooms of the studio and re-recorded that signal, including the natural room, which is called reamping. We recorded an electronic album in a rather traditional way, with sound engineers, analog desks, and it made us feel like a real band again. 
Back home during the final production phase, we basically ripped everything apart again to add a modern approach. Crossing Borders was co-written with a fellow Berliner, Fritz Kalkbrenner. With dirty hands and muddy shoes. The demo version of this song featured a sample of a trombone, but we prefer to have a real one, and Andy Cato of Groovamada helped us out. The other Fritz is Fritz Helder from Azarian Third, who co-wrote Love Drug with us. I have no choice. And the guitar part in Time's On My Side is played by an old friend of ours called Chitan from Berlin. An album is only complete with the cover artwork. And when we saw previous works of La Boca, we instantly knew that this had to be our partner. At the end of the day, by taking us back to our roots, and giving us strength as a band, Eve was more than inspiring. 